Hi, I'm Bill and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I balance uh, my telescope and with guide scope camera and everything onto my Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro mount. I've got a yappy dog in the background. has been yapping all day, so I apologize for that. And uh, I want to give a standard qualification. I'm a beginner. I'm learning astrophotography. I'm teaching myself. I'm using forums, YouTube, uh, books uh, to gain the knowledge. So while I'm going to do my best to give you factual information from time to time, I may say something wrong. So if I'm saying something wrong and you have more knowledge than me, please call it out in the comments. That's how I learn. So, uh, so let's get started. Um, here is uh, my scope. It's my first telescope. It's uh, William Optics Zenith Star 61 Mod 2. Um, I have the William Optics Z61A adjustable field flattener. And I have a uh, T-mount uh, that accepts the Canon. And then I've got my Canon 60. Uh, it's not astro modified. Uh, up here I have a William Optics uh, guide scope 32 millimeter. And then uh, the camera that I have is the ZWO ASI 120MM Mini. Um, and while initially I am not going to use guiding, I want to test the mount without guiding, um, it's important when you're balancing the scope to have uh, the entire weight that you're going to use as part of your session um, you know, on, on the scope so it becomes in balance. And then the other thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the dust cap off because uh, I'm, I'm not going to use that. All right. But first, what I need to do is I need to release this clutch here. And this is where I'll put my counterweights. And there is a knurled um, knob type uh, screw at the bottom. Um, so we're going to take that off. Um, it's kind of the screw here. And then with my uh, HEQ5 Pro, I got two 11 pound um, weights. So I'm gonna put this weight up. Oh, let me lock this into position. And then let me um, put this weight on. Okay, let's do it this way. There we go. So I'm going to put it all the way up to start with. Uh, what I am uh, going to try to balance uh, my telescope uh, as configured without the guide scope and the 120mm um, uh, mini camera is roughly 6.6 uh, pounds or 3 kilograms. So this is a uh, mount that has the capacity for uh, 30 pounds. Now, it's my understanding that it's a good rule of thumb to not go more than 50% of the payload capacity. I'm sure people do, and I may even uh, try that at some point, but with the current telescope I have, um, my weight is, uh, I would imagine, uh, an additional maybe pound with the guide scope. Uh, so maybe I'm trying to balance seven and a half pounds. All right, so I have that there. Um, let's see. Uh, what's important to do is once you have your counterweight on, you want to put your knurled screw back on. Um, in case your counterweight slips, it'll be caught uh, by this uh, by this screw. So, okay, we have that in. All right, and then up here is where I'm going to slide in my scope. So I'm opening up a little bit. Um, what we have here on the bottom, a little awkward to hold this, is a um, dovetail. It's a Vixen style dovetail and it's designed to slide into my, uh, into my mount here. So let's see if we can do this without dropping the uh, scope. So I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to secure the mount into 
This is the uh, declination axis uh, part of the scope. So I'm going to put that there. Okay. So it's in securely. All right. So we got this here. Now what I am going to do is I am going to uh, release the clutch, which is the right ascension clutch. This will let the scope travel in this. And as you can see right now, we're not in balance in this axis. So what I am going to do is I'm going to return it to here. I'm going to engage the clutch and I'm going to move my counterweight a little bit that way. So we'll try right about here. And then we're going to release the clutch. And now you can see the counterweights a little bit uh, heavier than the, the scope side. So again, I'm going to return it and I'm going to bring this counterweight back towards the center. So a little bit of trial and error here. So it tells me my counterweight is still maybe a little bit heavy, so let's see. And as a beginner, I don't know how close I have to get it, but I believe uh, the process is trying to take as much error out of your setup as possible is a good practice. So uh, clouds are coming in tonight. I'm not going to be able to do any data acquisition. I'm still several days away because I, ha I have more things to do as part of the checkout. Uh, before I actually start acquiring data. Uh, so let me move just a little bit. So it looks to me like that counterweight So I'm, I'm really not sure if I'm close. So I'm going to call this good for, for the moment. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this access. Actually, I have a line level. A line level comes in handy. I use it for setting up my mount. And so what I'm going to try and do is get this access level. Okay, it's level there. And now what I'm going to do is release the clutch on the uh, declination axis. Now, so what I think is if this was out of balance, um, this end would drop down or this end would drop down. Um, so I'm going to call this uh, pretty close. Um, I guess I could create an out of balance situation. Um, let, let's do that. Uh, so let me return this to this orientation here. And then let me rotate this to here and lock it. And now I am going to change the position of the dovetail in, in the mount to try to create an out of balance in the declination access. So let's put it here. Okay. Oh. Now normally I would uh, polar align the mount before I, I tried to do the balancing. <clears throat> so again in, in the RA axis to me, we look balanced. So now I'm going to release the clutch on a declination axis. And you can see in that axis, we're not in balance. And we need, we need that in balance. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to return up top. We're going to lock it. I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to position the dovetail uh, back to where I first had it.
and I think I had it about there. And what I'm doing here is I'm tightening the bolt that goes into the top part of the mount. I'm getting some movement in this direction. Could be because I don't have my, I'm not quite sure why that is. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna live with that for the moment. All right, so let's go back and see if we're in balance. So we're pretty good here. And then we'll release the declination. And uh, I think I think we're in balance uh, in in the declination axis as well. All right, so I'm going to return things to center, and I'm going to lock it down. And then what I am going to do is I am going to make a scribe line on uh, my dovetail uh, that uh, next time I put the uh, uh, telescope uh, into the mount, I'll be able to get pretty close as far as um, balancing the declination uh, access. So um, that's the process I'm going to use to uh, balance my mount. First, I will align it uh, to Polaris, and for me, that'll be in that direction. I, for demonstration purposes, I'm just showing it in this orientation right now. Uh, but it's a pretty easy um, process uh, to get it balanced. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, please, in the comments below, call it out so I learn. Uh, but this is what I'm gonna use uh, going forward until I find out that uh, I'm doing something wrong or there's a better method. Uh, and then again, as any time I change the weight configuration on here, uh, I mean, each time I set it up, I'm gonna have to balance it out but as if I go into a different size uh, telescope at some point in time, which has more weight, well then probably uh, the second uh, counterweight will need to be used uh, to help it uh, get balanced. All right, well, uh, hopefully this information was helpful. Uh, what helps drive uh, the channel is your comments and questions. So please, uh, uh, if you have any comments on how I can do something better or you have questions, please uh, use the uh, uh, comment section below to ask those questions and provide those comments. Uh, if you like this type of content, uh, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I'm looking to build my channel, so I welcome any new subscribers. Um, and uh, I do have a video on uh, where I put this scope together. I'll put a, a, a card in the... Um, in the video here somewhere up at the top or something uh, where you can see it. Uh, but uh, thanks for checking out the channel. I hope you come back. And uh, what you'll find is a continued progression of me starting from scratch uh, to where I'm doing uh, data acquisition and then uh, data processing. So I'll be documenting my learning along the way. So come join the journey, uh, come learn with me if you're experienced, please join the channel and help slap me down, tell me what I'm not doing right, uh, so I can learn and get up that learning curve uh, more quickly. Uh, but uh, let's just have some fun together, and uh, uh, I'm having a blast so far learning so much. So thanks again for dropping in. Uh, until next time.